I've done many pizza reviews and I've filmed them all, but I really wanted my first review to be about Sarpino's here in Atlanta. Um, Sarpino's, they are among my favorite pizza places here in Atlanta. But I'm, I've noticed that the reviews are just terrible. I will say that they are only as good as their, their help, but I'm going to vouch for the owners. They are uh, Russian and they are super kind. Uh, I love them to death. They are so nice to me and my family, but they have a few people who work there who don't have the same interest. And we, we all deal with that. Being a business owner, I know that, you know, when you employ someone to handle your business, they just don't care the same way you do because it's not their business. But this isn't about me or my business. This is about my opinion of all these pizza places that are out here. Like I said, I've been collecting data for years. I, I'm a pizza lover. It's my favorite food. So I look forward to giving you this review. I know what you're thinking, but it wasn't me. Uh, there was actually a, a homeless guy outside. So, and I gave him a slice of my pizza. So it kind of, kind of spoils like the presentation part of it now because a slice is missing, but it was all for the greater good, right? Anyway, just helping out the less fortunate. I typically will eat a salad beforehand, but I will go on and get into the particulars here. They always give you sauce. I always ask for extra. Their sauce is really good. It's, it's good for dipping the crust in. But just so you can look at the pizza here, this is my favorite, this is my go-to pizza now. It used to be pepperoni and pineapple, and then it was meatball and mushroom, and now it's, um, I even did meatball and pineapple for a while, which is really good. But this is Italian sausage and mushroom. I love it when they slice the Italian sausage like that, and it's not crumbles. There's the basil, looks good. You see? So I think it's a really, I think it's a pretty uh, quality pizza. All this for $7.99. Let me see if I can get a photo of it. Probably can't, my hand's all greasy now, but I'm gonna try. And then we're gonna talk about the pizza. I mean, I really like this pizza. I've had it many times, I'm gonna eat it for you here. I take large bites. I honestly don't know why these guys get two out of five stars. So if I were to give these guys a review on Yelp, I would give them five stars. They're very polite and the pizza is great. I mean, I, I mean, you can't argue with it. It's a, uh, Wow. I'm gonna do one to 10 scale. I'm gonna give the dough, which is basically the crust, I'm gonna give it a, a seven. Their sauce, I'm gonna give it a nine. Their toppings, like all toppings that they put on their pizza, they, they're always of high quality. So I'm gonna give their toppings I'm gonna give it a 10. They get a 10 for the toppings. And I said I was gonna grade the cheese separately, right? I'll give the cheese, I mean, the cheese is really good. So I'm gonna give it a, uh, I'm gonna give the cheese an 8.5. Cheese gets an 8.5. And the overall score, I'll have to get back to you on that because, oh, the price. Price-wise, if I had to say, if I, you know, there's like a little scale of the dollar signs, it would get one dollar sign. But I would say like overall value for the price, I would have to give them a 10. I mean, all day long. They have the best prices on their pizza. This is a large two-topping pizza. Um, just for the record, it's a 14-inch, I think. Yes. Yeah, it's a 14-inch large, I think. I'm pretty sure it's a 14 inch large, two topping, $7.99. Um, you can get an 
extra large and I think you can get I think it might be only a two topping as well but here's the strange thing you can get the extra large and I'm pretty sure it's either I think it's a three topping and it's $14.99 or $15.99 I'm sorry I'm forgetting now because I've been doing the large thing for a while but you can just get two large pizzas, two large two topping pizzas for $7.99 each and you're gonna be better off. You're gonna get more pizza and you know, when you're dealing with picky people like my kids and stuff like that, that works out better. So typically that's what I do when the whole family's here. We'll get two large two topping pizzas and my wife and I'll get it the way we want it and the kids, they'll get their own. So, but that's it. I think this is a great pizza. Um, I'll, I'll give it the overall score. I really need to do some work on the whole scale and how I'm going to grade these pizzas and rate them. Uh, so adding up all of those numbers, <laughs> I get a 34.5. And that just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't, it's, you know, you would expect it to be 100 or something like that. So I'm going to go with an overall of 8.5. I feel that that's a fair score for, for this pizza. Uh, I'm basically taking into consideration that Moe's is still out there, of course, and I can't seem to strip the memory of everybody's pizza from my mind. I am still lamenting the loss of everybody's pizza. I mean, they just, hands down, were the best pizza place in, in the Southeast. I never had better. So, with that said, I think 8.5 is a, a really good score for Sarpino's Pizza.